Hello, my name is Olivia Romer. I am a Sage 300 certified consultant at TAG, a premier Sage partner for construction software with offices located throughout Southern California. Today we are going to discuss five things you should do when closing the month in Sage 300 construction and real estate. Many Sage 300 construction and real estate users ask me, what should I do when closing the month in SAGE? Good question. There are a few tasks you should complete when closing the month in SAGE, but today I am going to discuss the top five things you should perform each month. Number one, backup data files. One of the most important tasks you can do prior to closing the month in SAGE 300 construction and real estate is backing up your data. As a part of your daily IT routine, you should make sure that you are fully backing up your SAGE 300 construction and real estate data. When you are closing the month, however, you should make sure to make a backup of your data through SAGE 300 construction and real estate. To do a backup at SAGE 300 construction and real estate, complete the following steps. Go to Common Tasks, Tools, File Tools, select Backup, hit Next, select your Data Folder, hit Next, select where you want the backup file. I'm going to put it on my desktop just as an example. Add a file name for your backup. Hit next. The software will check to see if the files are in use. If any files are in use, it will not let you continue through the backup process. It is best to make sure everyone is out of the system prior to completing a backup of your data. As you can see, the validation process is complete and no files are in use. So hit next. These are all the files that I will be backing up. If there's certain files you don't want to include, you can click on the file, hit skip and it will not include that file in the backup. I suggest including all of these files in your backup. Hit next and next. You will see now that all the files are being backed up. After the data files are backed up, it will show you this report. Make sure that the report says successful, which ours does. Then hit finish. You have now completed a backup of your SAGE 300 construction and real estate data. Congratulations! Number two, confirm all transactions are posted. Next, go into each application and confirm all transactions are posted. You can do this by going to Tasks, Post Entries, then select Start. To confirm that all entries have posted, go to Inquiry, Entries, All Entries, select the new file, hit OK. This will show you any transactions that are unposted. Number three, print month end reports. To confirm that everything is in balance, you should run the following reports. First, in accounts payable, you should run the invoice aging with cutoff date or the invoice aging by job with cutoff date. These two reports are designed to tie with your balance sheet. In accounts receivable, you should run the unpaid detail report. This report is designed to tie to your balance sheet. In cash management, you should run the bank reconciliation report and the bank balance verification report. The adjusted bank balance or adjusted register balance on the bank reconciliation report should tie to your balance sheet. If you're using equipment costing, you should do the cost by account reports and the revenue by account reports. Both of these should tie to your income statement. In general ledger, you should run your trial balance or working trial balance to confirm that everything is in balance with your other applications. 
In job cost, you should run the close month validation report. This confirms that all job cost entries tie with your general ledger. And last but not least is payroll. In payroll, you should run the burden by debit account, deductions by credit account, fringes by credit account, and taxes by credit account. The totals here should match your balance sheet. Number four, close modules for the month. There are four modules that will need to be closed from month to month. Contracts, job cost, payroll, and general ledger. The close month process in the contracts module will update the month to date prior month and year to date total billings, approved change orders, and contract totals. The close month process in the job cost module will update the month to date, prior month, quarter to date, and year to date totals for estimates, contracts, billings, commitments, and costs. The close month process in the payroll module will update the month to date, prior month, quarter to date, and year to date totals for earnings, deductions, and fringes. To do this, go into the respective application, go to tasks, close month in contracts. In general ledger, go to tasks, close current period. In job cost, go to tasks, close month. And in payroll, go to tasks, close month. Number five, general ledger, the final step. The final step in finalizing your financial statements for your current month. Once you're to the point where you will no longer make adjustments to the current month, you will want to close the month in general ledger. The close month process in the general ledger module will update the month to date, prior month, quarter to date, and year to date totals for all general ledger accounts with changes in the current month. When you complete the close month process, this will then prevent transactions from being posted to the close month. Congratulations! You have now completed the month end closing process in Sage 300 Construction Real Estate. What is your month end routine? What reports do you run every month? Let us know in the comments below. Want to learn more about Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate? Visit our website www.teamtag.net or email us at timberline at teamtag.net. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future videos.